Creole mayonnaise, we're gonna start out with two cups of mayonnaise. To that, I am going to add one cup of sour cream. one tablespoon of mustard, two tablespoons of hot sauce, two tablespoons of chopped flat leaf parsley, and a half of a lemon juiced. And then I'm gonna add these fancy little tiny gherkins and they are called cornichons. And those are chopped up and we'll toss those in there. Mix this all together. Bethany, could you chop the uh, cornichons up in a food processor instead um, of doing it by hand? I wouldn't. It's just a rough chop on them, so I wouldn't go too, you know, too crazy. The food processor might liquefy them okay. before they chop them. Okay. So <laughs> Just hand. a rough chop on okay. them, yeah. You just you do want little chunks in there, so that's what makes it good. You're gonna to wanna to take this mayonnaise and refrigerate it for a couple hours to get it nice and chilled and firmed up a little. Now this is pretty spicy too. And we're gonna put just a little touch of kosher salt and a little bit of white pepper in there as well. This makes quite a bit, it makes about three cups, but you're gonna to wanna to put a lot of it on that sandwich, so oh, you'll yeah. use it. All right, so we're gonna start uh, with the shrimp. You're gonna wanna defrost your shrimp and then you can put it in two cups of buttermilk and two tablespoons of hot sauce. You're gonna wanna leave that in there for probably at least a half an hour before you go ahead and cook the shrimp. Now I'm gonna make the breading for the shrimp. So I have two cups of fine ground cornmeal. I'm gonna add to that one and a half tablespoons of onion powder, one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, and then a pinch of cayenne. A pinch goes a long way with cayenne, so just be gentle with that. I'll just mix that up a little. I know I've had some accidents with cayenne where it's like, yeah. you put in a spoonful, oh, it's inedible. Yes, you'll regret that later. Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna take the shrimp that we've had soaking in the buttermilk and a little bit of hot sauce. We're gonna take some of that and toss it here into the cornmeal. Get those shrimp nice and dredged in there. Now we're using a home fry later. You know, these are, you can buy them anywhere and they're pretty safe and they're a lot of fun. We have one at home. We do all kinds of stuff in it. Onion rings, donuts. Oh, yes. French fries. Mm -hmm. Try to save ours for special occasions like the Super Bowl. You take those shrimp and stick them right in the basket, maybe about eight to 10 at a time, so you don't want to overload it. Probably be enough for one sandwich, so that'll be perfect. I love the sizzling sound it makes. Oh yeah. It makes you hungry. Put that down in there. And those are gonna cook for about three minutes. Let's give those a few minutes. So Bethany, I heard you've been researching the history of the po'boy. I have, I've been researching the history of the po'boy mm -hmm. and it's really interesting actually. Um, I didn't know where it had come from. I have mm -hmm. actually been to New Orleans and I've actually had a shrimp po'boy in New Orleans mm -hmm. a long, long time ago. Really? Yes, um, and that's kind of what inspired me to make it. But mm -hmm. the story behind it was uh, so interesting to me. I guess it came about in um, both the 20s. There mm -hmm. were a set of brothers, the Martin brothers. Mm -hmm and they were trained car workers when they first got to New Orleans, mm -hmm. but then they decided to open a restaurant. Mm -hmm. A couple years after they opened the restaurant, in 1927, the trained car workers went on strike. And uh, the, the public was so in favor of it and were supporting them so thoroughly, and the Martin brothers went, well, these are, my, these are our friends, we know these guys, and they felt really bad that they were on strike and that right. they were having such a hard time with it, so they decided to give them free food while they were on strike. So they invented these giant sandwiches with tons of meat in them and all the local things, the shrimp, the crawfish, mm -hmm. and any kind mm -hmm. of meat really. Mm -hmm. And they gave them to these guys for free for the whole strike. So they said, nice. you know, look every nice. time one of the guys came down the street, they said, oh, look at, one, look at this poor boy. Mm -hmm. We need to give him mm -hmm. a free sandwich. Mm -hmm. And they invented 
the po' boy sandwich, and now that's still what it's called today. So I oh. thought that was really cool. That's a really great story, you yeah. know. And I mean. I bet they wish when they went back to work they were still yeah, and know, I guess sitting on the street eating poor boys. They had made it so popular mm -hmm. during the strike that for years that was they were known yeah. for it. They didn't they ended up making a lot of money off of it nice. for all those free sandwiches they gave away nice. to the the striking uh -huh. workers. So it's funny to think of giving seafood sandwiches today. I, mean, I know. I can't imagine <laughs> anybody doing that. It was like that. very inexpensive back then. Yes. Yeah. I think today. it was. It was more of a local food mm -hmm. and, and not a very expensive mm -hmm. food down in that area. Yeah. Where where the seafood is so prevalent. Um, our shrimp is probably done now in the time it took us to tell that story. It's about three minutes, so let's check it out. And those look perfect. And let me tell you, you could eat this breading right off the shrimp. It is absolutely delicious. Beautiful. I know I could eat one of those right now. I'm gonna put it They're in the really, really hot I'm when sure they, they first <laughs> come out. I waited about two minutes last time and still burnt mm -hmm. my mouth. So let's give it one more minute and we're gonna assemble a sandwich with these shrimp. We've got our shrimp and we've got our mayonnaise. We'll take a nice amount of that mayonnaise. It is spicy though, but it is delicious. Put it right on the bottom. Nice, can't have too much mayonnaise. No, never. We're gonna get some nice lettuce. Tomato. And we'll take some of our shrimp, stack them right up. You might have a hard time closing the sandwich up, but I don't think anyone's going to mind. And there we go. Oh, beautiful. Now that is truly an overstuffed sandwich. And that's exactly how it's supposed to look. Exactly. When you see those catalogs yes. from New Orleans. Oh, yeah. That's it. A little bit of lemon on side for your shrimp. And there you go. There is our shrimp. Po' boy sandwich with the Cajun mayonnaise.